Hello and thank you for joining us. In this presentation, we're going to be reviewing the security management module. The objective here is easily manage security and provide consistent security across your repository. So I'm sure the first question you're asked is, why should you watch this video? So let's dive in with these questions because I think it'll help me get to the answer. Do you have the need to ensure only the right people see a document or folder? Will you have a number of types of users or functional roles? Role-based security. Do you need to maintain the same level of security across your repository? Based on, say, project or deal, customer, client, or matter. Are the security needs different based on a specific client or type or other business metadata? In other words, yes, you may have certain security if they're project documents or deal documents or client documents, but what if there's different security based on that particular client? So for that client, only certain people can see certain information. Now, once you've defined that security, wouldn't it be a lot easier if you could just reuse it each time? In other words, not having to redefine that security every time you go to a new client folder or client document or document type. If you've answered yes to any of these questions, it probably does make sense for you to watch this video. So let's get started. On the screen here, I have three separate people logged into an Alfresco repository. One is the administrator, as you see here, and they're logged into the Human Resources site. Over here, you have Mary Manager, also logged into Alfresco and the Human Resources site. And down at the bottom here, you have Adam Storch logged in also to the Human Resources site. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is Mary the Manager can see five documents where Adam Storch can only see three. Now, the key here is we want to be able to change security, and we want to make sure when we change security, we're managing security consistently across the repository. So let's quickly see how we change security. So we've got this change of address form right here. Now, if I click on more and I go down to security, and here I've got update security policy. I click on that and I'm presented with a list of policies. Okay, you'll notice that I've got two here for human resources. This one is human resources restricted document. So let's select that and hit OK. Now if I come down to Adam Storch and I refresh, you'll notice that the three documents now become two documents. And that's because we've changed security. Now the nice thing is how simple and easy that was and how consistent that was. You'll also notice that Adam Storch, by virtue of his rights, does not have access to the security option that Mary the manager does over here. Okay, so very easy to go off and change that security. Now let's make a couple other changes right here where the administrator in the human resources site, let's go to security. When I go into the security management module, I'm presented with a list of security policies. Now this list can be quite long. Of course, we just have four here. So because it can be quite long, I can simply type in the name, okay, or as much of the name as I know. I hit search and it'll give me that list. Okay, so you're able to go off and find the appropriate security policy in that vast list you might have. Next piece is if you click on a security policy, from here you can go off, change the name, add people, and add groups. So let's go off and add a group, and I'll go to add groups, and I'm going to look for operations. And here's operations, and I can add them, and I'm going to make them simply consumers. And I will add the groups. And the group is now added. So if I go back to my security policy list, I'm all done. So what I've done is simply added a group operations to my security policy. Again, if I click on that, you'll see that newly added group. And there's that newly added group. So the idea is it's very easy to go off and manage these security policies, adding people, adding groups, and so forth, as well as their role. Now what's really nice is once you have built these security policies, you can then, using business rules, 
automatically apply them. So instead of having to manage security at an individual document or folder level, you can turn around and simply attach this security policy to your documents and be able to quickly and easily maintain consistent security throughout the system as well as do it perhaps via business rules. Most clients will go off and have security either based on a document type as well as you'll hear it on a document life cycle. In other words, if a document status changes from, say, a review to approved, it might also be changed. So again, quickly noting how easy it is to change the security policy on a given document simply from the menu. And the moment it's changed, it's instantly reflected the next time that user does anything in the system. Instead of two documents here, you now see three documents. And of course, maintaining those security policies equally as simple. From our security manager, I can click the name and I can add either groups or people. And of course, as I'm sure you notice, you can search for people and you can search for groups. Because again, depending on your situation, you may have a large number of both users, groups, and policies. So, what did we do? Well, basically, we created a reusable security policy that can be easily applied to folders or documents. We also applied that predefined security policy to a document, as you remember from the drop-down list. We're also ensuring that security is consistent across the repository. Because again, once you've defined that security, then you can reuse it and ensure that the right groups and people are always getting access to the correct documents. And remember, once you've built those policies, those can also be automatically assigned via rules inside Alfresco. Remember, we talked about the idea that perhaps a certain type of project or a certain type of folder or a certain type of document can automatically get one of your policies assigned to it. Therefore, again, ensuring consistent security across that repository. We thank you very much for your time, and please feel free to reach out to us so we can help you the way we help our other clients.